My friends call me Eliza Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my artistic process begins normally in the National Archives or just trawling through the internet or like every now and then you'll see an architectural gem. Um, and I start with a drawing, which is like a little work on paper, kind of this big, and I put gouache on it so it's coloured. And then I get that and I project it onto the large canvas uh, and, then, and then paint it up. So my materials are gouache on the little works and then I do an acrylic underlayer um, when I go onto the canvas. So that just like helps me block in all the colours and I can be really like messy as far as my paintings get messy. And then I go over the top with oil paints because it gives that like really like um, matte kind of opaque look that, that I go for. My inspiration started when I first started painting houses from going straight to a street and just drawing them straight up and then um, I kind of got interested more and more in what you know had changed about these houses so obviously a lot of these the houses that I painted from the 50s and the 60s they've gone through massive renovations or been knocked down altogether and so it's kind of recreating the past it's like recreating this lost architecture and like the beauty of it you know we might have a classic beach coma house and then in recent years they've filled in the bottom so it's no longer on stilts it's kind of just this big block um so it's about like that that loss of this beauty of you know this simpler architecture that we used to have i studied architecture for a year and did not last there but i think i just i just was really drawn visually at first to mid-century modern architecture i just loved it um and i i just love that feeling of nostalgia like it's it's certainly not my nostalgia i was alive in the 50s um but it's it's just any nostalgia i mean i love when i see someone see one of my paintings or um yeah, like a, a book I made a while ago collected the stories of people that grew up in these in these houses and it's so universal. Like my mum's friends will come and look at the paintings and be like, oh my gosh, yes, like we used to have um, a mission brown balcony banister like that or we had this or oh my god, do you remember when that happened? And so then I really started running with that and I started titling my works like ice bovos for breakfast and things like that so it was like very much kind of tapping into not only my memories from staying at my grandparents house but also just this like australian memory and i i just think it's such a nice thing when people reflect and they always reflect with that rose tinted look that it was it was simpler back then when it obviously wasn't like obviously there's troubles in every time and you know all sorts of things but it, it's it's a nice it's nice to look back um i made a book uh last year and and it's called eggs with soldier toast butted well and i collected all the memories from people that i just found on the internet friends random connections who had grown up in mid-century modern architecture and it was so much fun like these stories were hilarious like about you know there was a daughter of a architect from the time and she said that she like once had a nosebleed and the dad just like screamed like don't get on the carpet meanwhile she's like gushing with blood like anyway and it just just really really funny stories and so I put them all into a book where I painted the house that they'd grown up in that they sent me family photos and stuff of and then and then printed the story above just really like quick kind of snippets um and yeah that was awesome and like the the people whose houses it were just loved it and all their family around it um and so i think the next one's going to be called uh bumpy roads with tip top sandwiches and it's going to be collecting stories just from people's road trips around australia and kind of it'll it'll be focused towards the time period that i normally do like 50s to 70s but like i'm welcoming stories from any time like i've you know my brother wrote one about one of our road trips and um yeah it's i think it'll be really fun and i'll paint kind of people can send me their family photos or i'll just envision whatever they sent me 
Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good. COVID's been really interesting. I mean, there was uh, for everyone that initial absolute freak out um, where, you know, I was like, am I gonna be able to go to my studio? Like, I can't paint at home. Um, and then I think it kind of settled down and it became this really slow, lovely pace that I actually haven't had in a couple of years. It's kind of been like show, 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 next show, you know. But I think there was something really nice about just actually being in the gallery and like reflecting. And yeah, I think it's actually brought on this new kind of way that I approach the studio where I, I do think about everything a lot more you know I'll, I'll give myself time um and i've also loved about covid like so many amazing responses from like the music world and the art world and it's it's been amazing to see the bounce back